One thing coaster enthusiasts always want is for parks to get new roller coasters all the time, yes. especially their home parks. Oh yeah. Our home park is Cedar Point mm -hmm. and we constantly want them to get new roller coasters. And we've kind of been spoiled because for so many years they would get a new coaster every couple years. Mm -hmm. But the one thing is that building a roller coaster costs a lot of money. It is very expensive. Now a roller coaster, depending on the type and manufacturer and different theming, mm -hmm. It can cost anywhere from five million dollars up to over a hundred million dollars. Three hundred million for Hagrid's magical creature motorbike adventure. But what we're talking about today, as you saw in the title, we're talking about the top ten roller coasters at Cedar Point, but not the top ten coasters in general. We're talking about the top ten most, most expensive, expensive coasters. First of all, we're only talking about active coasters at Cedar Point. And second of all, we adjusted the prices for inflation to make it more fair. Okay, so let's get into this list because I think there's going to be some surprises oh. on this list. Number 10 is Iron Dragon. <laughs> Built in 1987, it was $4 million when it was built, but adjusted for inflation, it is $9.9 .9 million. That goes to show a coaster as small as Iron Dragon can still be very expensive if it was built today. And still then, back then too. And number nine is Gemini. Gemini, if it was built right now, would cost $14.8 million US dollars. Back in 1978, when it was built, it cost $3.4 million. Sounds and at the time, it was a record-breaking coaster. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was. Number eight is probably the most bang for its buck because it is Magnum XL200. Yes. In 1989, when it was built, it cost $8 million. Ooh. Adjusted for inflation, it's only $18.3 million. Mm -hmm. And that's the coaster that started the Coaster Wars. Mm -hmm. That's very cheap for what it was. So they, Cedar Point, you got a good deal on that. That was pretty good. Ron Toomer, aerodynamics, good job, even though the coaster sucks now. No, it doesn't. And at number seven, we have Mantis slash Rougarou. Now, when Mantis was built in 1996, it cost $12 million. And that would be $21.7 million today. So the reason we're saying Mantis slash Rougarou is because we don't know exactly how much it costs to switch the trains from Mantis to Rougarou, but it would be probably be it was probably in, yeah, yeah, it was probably in, in, pretty cheap, so pretty it would insignificant. be the same amount. And at number six, we're sticking with that B&M vibe with Raptor. Mm. Back in 1994, it was also $12 million, but being a couple years earlier than 1996, the inflation has adjusted a little differently, mm. so this would have been $23 million in today's money. And that's not a bad deal considering it sits at the front of the park. It's one of the first coasters you see. Mm -hmm. Always gets a huge line. Huge line, and it roars through the crowd, roars through that midway. Mm -hmm. People still love it. It's a GP eater. <laughs> and just making it into the top five is Val Raven. Now, when Valerie Room was built in 2016, it cost $22.5 million, and adjusted for inflation, it would be $26.5 million today. And that's another GP eater. Oh, yeah. All right, number four. This is getting into what was my favorite ride at the park for so long. Fun fact, this coaster almost didn't exist. This coaster was almost the world's tallest floorless coaster mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Cedar Point, for not doing that one. That would have been a disaster. Mm -hmm. Number four, we got Maverick. Mm -hmm. Maverick, when it was built in 2007, cost $21 million. And adjusted for inflation today, it is $28.7 million. And at number three, we have Gatekeeper. The big, giant B&M wing coaster you see when you're coming into the park. When Gatekeeper was built, it cost $30 million, and now it would cost $36.5 million. Now, before we get to number two, there's a lot of B&Ms showing up in this mm -hmm. list. That's because B&Ms are expensive, yes. because they're so reliable. Mm -hmm. Those things just go and go and go. And they're built so quickly, and everybody loves them, so 
Yeah, B&M's are very expensive roller coasters. Yeah, and that's why Cedar Point kind of <laughs> sticks with them. They spend mm -hmm. the money, but they get what they pay for. Mm -hmm. Number two goes the opposite of that reliability I just talked about. <laughs> Number two is we're saying active coasters, even though this isn't active <laughs> this year, we are coming in with Top Thrill Dragster. Built in 2003 mm -hmm. at the cost of $25 million, adjusted for inflation today, that would be $38.5 million. That's ridiculous. And Richard Kenzel has gone on record saying that it is the most expensive coaster to maintain mm. for Cedar Point. And I don't know, we it, it, the future is a little bleak for it, but we love the ride, top so we're Drill hoping. Top Drill Dragster is not going to get removed, people. If you say Top Drill Dragster is going to get removed, you're not right. Yeah, you're not right. I don't know. <laughs> I But personally, I would have said a little while ago that I don't think it's going to get removed, but it won't get I'm removed. losing faith. It's I'm not, losing faith. I'm, easy, I'm gaining But faith. either way, we are down to number one. Number one, this... We said Magnum was money well spent. This might be even money more well spent. <laughs> yes. What is number one? Number one, it is the 310 foot Intamin Giga sitting at the middle of the park. It is Millennium Hours. So that is by far the most expensive. Mm -hmm. Back when it was built in 2000, it was $25 million, which was a lot of money That's for 2000 money. But now adjusted for inflation. It is $41.1 million. Most of that money went to the theming. <laughs> yeah. And writing the soundtrack. But if you notice, Steel Vengeance, not on that list. Mm -hmm. When I was researching this, we, weren't we surprised at Steel Vengeance? We were looking and we're like, Steel I mean, Vengeance wasn't on I this list? I can see that because they didn't have to build a structure, at least most of the structure. And even if they did, RMCs are pretty cheap. So. Steel Vengeance was only about $8.5 million mm -hmm. to build. So that, and that was only a few years ago. But that didn't make the list. Blue Streak didn't make the list obviously that back in 19 in the 1960s cost two hundred thousand dollars to build <laughs> oh, really? that th yeah, that thing was that thing was cheap and <laughs> um and i couldn't find a price for mine ride if you guys know how much mine ride cost if you were one of the people that built mine ride <laughs> comment down below and let us know but i'm pretty sure that wouldn't have made this mm -hmm. list anyway but yeah that kind of shows you guys how much these roller coasters cost and that's not even the maintenance per year, which can get into the millions of dollars per mm -hmm. year for maintenance. So that is Cedar Point top 10 roller coasters by cost. Hope you enjoyed the video. Mm -hmm. If you did, tell them what to do. Subscribe, subscribe. Like the video, comment. All that stuff. We'll see you next time.